Hi everyone. When we last left off, um, we had just talked about how having too much content on the page, well, it's a bad user experience, uh, and most users don't want to have to scroll through an entire page just to see uh, what the content's about. And with forums in particular, it's better to not show everything at once. Normally you show like the thread title and the date it was posted, maybe who posted it, that's about it. So we're going to talk about how we can clean up this page by using hyperlinks. A hyperlink is created in an HTML document by... Well, actually, hold on, let me get rid of all this stuff. A hyperlink is created by using the anchor tag, which is simply the A tag, and using the href attribute. By the way, these are called tags. Tags can have attributes or properties. These properties are called attributes. Um, they tell you about what a... Rather, it's a way to add more information to a tag. Um, the tags themselves have semantic meaning. And what I'm talking about is the tags have their own like dictionary definition that the browsers are supposed to honor. But uh, you can also add information, for example, every tag has a class attribute, uh, and you can typically put a title on it. But And those are simply what attributes are. But the anchor tag has an attribute called the href attribute, and this is how you link to other documents or other websites. For example, we can link to google.com. Save that. If we come back to the page, then refresh. Now we have this link here that goes to Google. And you can see it took us to the Google search engine. There's another attribute on here called target. Maybe we don't actually want people to leave the, have to go back to the site by using the back and forth tabs. We can specify a target in here. We'll call it blank. What this says is open up a new tab or window. It'll typically, the, the browser will typically um, decide based on settings you have. Now if we refresh, click this, it opens up a new tab. In order to help clean up the um, information that's on this page, we are going to create a few pages besides the index file. Let me get rid of that. And we're going to link to these pages using the anchor tag. So let's create, let's see, thread1. We'll create a page called thread1.html. And we'll go ahead and just copy and paste this in here. And let's create another page called thread2. And we'll go ahead and copy and paste that in there. Make sure you save those. And then, since this is about, let's take out the thread 2. Since this is about page 1, okay. Then what, we'll, what we're going to do is get rid of all these posts from the index.html file from the first and the second threads. Next, we're going to combine these into one section. Okay, we'll get rid of this body. And that should be good enough. Next, we'll come into thread one. Did we already take out thread two? Yes, so we'll come in here. We'll take out thread one. And we'll make animals. What do y'all think about animals? Change the information in here so it's a little bit different. Now we're going to actually wrap 
the entire, let's just do the title. We're going to wrap the header in an anchor tag. Next, we're going to assign the ref attribute to thread one. And we'll do the same thing for thread two. We'll go ahead and refresh, and let's have a way to go back to the index file. So we'll have a link here that says go back home, and we'll make the ref tag go back to the index file. And actually, let's go ahead and you don't even have to do this, to be honest. It's shorter to just go ahead and do that. That'll work the same way. Actually, I take that back. Let's go ahead and use this. I'll, I'll explain later why we're doing it this way. I don't want to get into um, extensions for Visual Studio Code right now. Okay, now if we refresh, now we have, it's much shorter, it's easier to see. We have thread one, thread two. Click here. We've gone to thread one. We can go back home or not. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, now refresh. Okay, now we should be able to go back home. Go to thread two. We can see we're on thread two. And already, we've made this much easier to navigate, much easier to deal with. Can we make this better yes but mostly with styling and some javascript for now this is all it is and this is a very minimal form um, I think one thing we should be able to do is let's go ahead and put horizontal rules between them what this is basically just saying hey I want a line right here and we see that we don't get a line oh that's thread one Whoops. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it for all those two. But first, okay, put it between the two threads on the index file. And you see we get a line. Now we know that they're separate. And let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So now we have separation. Let's come in here into each of these threads and do the same thing. That way it's easier to read it. There's thread one. Thread two. And I forgot to do that one. Now it's a little bit easier to separate all these out. Let's go ahead and do one more thing. Let's add copyright, copyright section. So let's do the same thing that we've uh, been doing to the articles. We'll put a header here. We'll put the title in the header. We'll put the, instead of section, we can just go ahead and make this main. And looks like it changed down there as well. Now that we have that, we have our footer. Let's add some copyright. Um, copyright. Something really simple. What I've done here is put what's called an HTML entity code. Now, there's two ways to do it. There's the word you can either use the word or you can do something like put a number I wonder what 201 is, I don't know what 201 does let's see oh it looks like it's the E with the little apple um, stem on top but if you use the word uh, I think it's easier to remember so I prefer using words so you see now we have the copyright symbol and let me make that a little bit different
Copyright 2019, my form, all rights reserved. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and copy this on all. And that didn't copy that right there. Let's fix that. Put the footer there. Put the footer there. Refresh, go to thread one. Have the copyright, go to thread two. Now we have copyright. And when you're working with just HTML, it can be kind of a pain having to set up the same HTML and all these different files. We'll talk later about how you can use templates to have one base file that like really never changes. And so in, instead of having to change this part right here, the t header part or maybe the footer part, all you have to do is change this main part. And again, we'll go into that at a later date. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. Please feel free to share any feedback or criticisms you've had. I'd like to improve uh, the channel and the videos any way possible. Uh, you can support me by... Subscribestar hasn't approved my account yet, so... You can support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And um, just search for Blackie Wolf. Should be able to find me pretty easily. I'm this one right here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Next time, we're going to do one more thing with HTML. Um, we're going to make an about page, a contact page, and a profile page. Now, it's going to be pure HTML, so they're not really going to do much. But um, that'll be the last of the HTML, I believe. After that, we'll move into CSS and styling the page. And uh, see you guys then.